Joseph, we've had so much rain today. We're actually breaking records today. Looking at Jennifer yeah. Dowling in her live shot, I'm like, I feel so bad. She's been wet all day. Just soak. Yeah, we had a soaking today. The rain didn't stop. It started this morning. A lot of locations get this over an inch of rain. Sometimes in April, we don't even collect an inch of rain collectively throughout the whole month. So uh, today was definitely a soaker out there. So we did break a daily maximum rainfall record for downtown Portland, but this number right here can continue to accumulate or to rise as we go into uh, the overnight hours. The old record is just a little over one inch. That was 1945. So we had just an abundance of moisture for our day today on top of the very strong wind. So many locations approaching one inch. Salem almost an inch and a half of rain. Very well to the south there. I mean, a couple uh, systems or with the system sliding in, a couple neighborhoods had just some heavy rain to moderate rain for a long period of time. So that's why these numbers have really gone on up and we're just shy of an inch there at the airport. Over towards Troutdale, they also broke a record today. Look at Aurora. Check out McMinnville. So a lot of locations today over one inch of rain. You really got your money's worth of that rain jacket if you took it out this afternoon. All right, so here's the air air of low pressure. It is slowly just moving off to the east. Eventually, as it starts to hit the land here, it will start to collapse and fall apart and we'll see the wind become more tame and we'll cut off that moisture. Uh, but for now, I just expect more rain for the remainder of the night. Yeah, so the radar is very, uh, very active. These are all storm local reports or local storm reports of wind damage and uh, as well as some hail there just to the north of Tillamook. Uh, and again, this is at 1115. This has all been throughout the day uh, because we've had those gusts again about 40, 50 miles per hour. Radar very wet still. And again, the orange and the red, a moderate steady rain. It's just not ending at this time. So we could start to approach uh, some flooding issues. Uh, as we go into tomorrow, I know there's already a couple rivers up in Washington that are having some issues. That's something that we're going to continue to monitor as we go into tonight and into tomorrow morning. Current wind gust over the last half an hour or so, about 20 to 30 miles per hour from the coast into about Portland and Salem. It could still be pretty windy as we go into tonight. I don't expect it much more than about 30 miles per hour. You can see the wind here and all the rain at Lincoln City through our time lapse. Still very active at this hour with the wind gust forecast going through the overnight hours. This particular model is still thinking we're going to probably be in the 40 to maybe 40 mile per hour range for the wind. So you might hear those trees blowing as we go into tonight, but then it becomes much lighter as we go into our Sunday night by about 11 p.m. We'll keep the high wind warning still in place. This was issued by the National Weather Service till 11 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, so we'll keep on watching this system. But again, I think by the time we get to the early hours, it shouldn't be too bad. Through the overnight, we still have the rain. It's here. The snowfall collects on the mountains already three inches up on Mount Hood Meadows. They're going to get a lot of snow tonight and into tomorrow morning. That's going to be the heaviest snowfall. They could collect about 12 inches, maybe more than that. There is a winter storm warning until 6 p.m. Sunday. Seven day forecasts. Uh, check out Monday. I mean, we do have a nice treat after all this rain and the <laughs> snow in the mountains. We finally get a nice dry day with temperatures near 70 degrees for one day for one day. OK, and we'll take back it to the yeah. OK, it's like yesterday. <laughs> it's better than zero. Right? I agree. So. All right. So the regular 